Hello, fellow SET Roanoke and Second Earth citizens. Now, finally, I want to give you a concrete example to show you how the model actually works. Meet Intermediate Pioneer Alice with a spaceship deposit box of 5,000 SET. Her network GDP has already reached 10 times her personal GDP, and she is qualified for a promotion to Advanced Pioneer. Alice can choose between two reinvestment methods. Method one, Alice directly purchases SET for reinvestment. The number of reinvested coins reaches two times her deposit box value, equaling 10,000 tokens in this example. She will be promoted to Advanced Pioneer. Method two, 50% of Alice's daily income is automatically reinvested. Net GDP income cap multiple increases daily. When the total reinvestment amount reaches two times her deposit box value, equaling 10,000 tokens, she will be promoted to Advanced Pioneer. Once upgraded, the cap on Alice's Referral Network's GDP revenue has changed from 10 times to 20 times her personal GDP. Alice's maximum total return has changed from 407 SCT to 777 SCT, and her monthly total return has jumped from 242.2% to 462.2%. If Alice chooses to withdraw the SCT in her staking box in the future, she'll be downgraded from an advanced pioneer to a junior pioneer. And the SCT in the staking box will be released in three to 24 months based on her affiliate network growth. Now the release period can be accelerated relative to the ratio of the value the user's revoke staking box to newly deposited coins from lower level referrals. For example, if the value of SCT recently deposited by her referral network matches the value of Alice's revoke staking box, then the release period for SCT in the staking box is three months. If the value of SCT recently deposited by her referral network reaches 50% of the value of Alice's revoke staking box, then the release period for SCT in the staking box is 12 months. If there is no additional SCT recently deposited by Alice's referral network, the release period for SCT in the staking box is 24 months. If Alice, who has been downgraded to Junior Pioneer after withdrawing all her coins from her staking box, chooses to upgrade again, then she needs to start from the Junior Pioneer level and re-upgrade. In this case, Alice needs to deposit tokens in the staking box again according to the level she wants to reach, but the amount of tokens required for repurchasing upgrades is based on the original value invested, not on current token prices. If the average price of the initial pledge token is one US dollar, even if the price of the token has risen to 10 US dollars after she revoked her stake tokens, Alice only needs to reinvest 15,000 US dollars instead of 150,000 US dollars with an SCT to complete her journey from Junior Pioneer to Advanced Pioneer. Now that's all for today. Thank you all for tuning in. Don't ever forget, virtually everything is possible.